Well, Mother Nature provided a light show last evening as there was a strong thunderstorm with very heavy rain that pushed into the capital region just ahead of fireworks time. We're taking a time lapse look, look back from 9 p.m. yesterday onward, and you can see on the top right hand corner of the screen that was the approaching thunderstorm. It wasn't severe, but it w did bring the potential for some gusty winds, that very heavy rain as well. But you can see in some of the neighborhoods across the capital district, still fireworks went off without a hitch. And of course, we're going to try and do those fireworks again tonight of the Empire State Plaza. The pattern, though, has not changed. We still could fuel up some pop up storms that will begin up north and may want to try and track closer to the Tri Cities as we go through the evening hours. It is going to be a hotter, still very humid day for us. Temperatures around 8 p.m. still running in the mid 80s. Sun goes down just after 8 30 this evening. So as we look towards about 9 o'clock, Again, most of those showers and storms should be fizzling, but still holding on an outside chance that a downpour could threaten the fireworks display once again this evening. And if you are going to be heading uh, to downtown Albany, heads up, it's going to be another muggy afternoon and evening for you. And in fact, the humidity just continuing to come in. We're also going to be baking in some heat here over the next couple of days with high pressure down to our south that will push temperatures into the 90s. We came really close yesterday, so it's only getting hotter as we close out this first week of July. When you factor in the humidity, the heat index this afternoon will be approaching the mid 90s in a number of spots, especially through the Hudson Valley uh, heat index of 94 expected this afternoon in Albany. And the temperature won't be too far off from that. 92 will go in uh, for the forecast this afternoon for Albany. Also lower 90s, Schenectady and Troy 90 in Saratoga Springs as you begin to climb into some of the hills on either side of the Hudson River should be the upper 80s this afternoon. Storms will begin to pop into the Adirondacks this afternoon, then it will be slowly drifting southward. Just given the fact that there's not really much to push these storms along, they will be slow moving. So downpours will be a big concern. Also some gusty winds. Highs today will be around 80 or so in the Adirondack Park. An isolated storm also can't be ruled out through the Catskills. 86 today in Gilboa, Hunter Mountain. Meanwhile, Kingston, you'll push closer to 90. Starting off this morning, we have fog area wide, but as we transition into the afternoon, it will be sunshine, lower 90 for Hudson and Kinderhook, 88 Pittsfield, also Manchester, even Whitehall will make it close to 90 come this afternoon. The steamy conditions will continue through the end of this week. In fact, we are cooking up a heat wave with three days in a row with highs in the lower 90s. More storms will show up on Friday. Temperatures will cool. We'll use that term loosely over the weekend. Mid to upper 80s for highs. Better shower chance south and east of Albany on Saturday. Everybody could see a downpour or two. On Sunday, a few more passing showers will stick around into the start of next week. All right. Thank you, Jill.